Hey guys, Beth here. So today I'm coming to you with the Star Wars Panning Saga Project Pan. Uh, this is a project that goes from January 25th to May 25th. It said that there's a release for Star Wars A New Hope. I think that's an old one. I'm not sure you guys. But this is created by Daniela Santos Munoz. Um, and this is a fantastic ladies collaboration. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys to go check out Danielle's or Daniela's video or Instagram. I'm not sure if she's on Instagram or on uh, YouTube, but I'll look right after this filming and I'll have it down below for you and a link for everybody else doing the project. Um, but there are five things in this project and there are some prompts to them, sorry. Uh, the first one is for Darth Vader. It says a product with black packaging. Now, I haven't picked anything for these um, prompts yet. I thought I would just do it like here. Um, I'm about to go watch the Chiefs play. And I thought, well, you know what? I could just pull from my plan to pan um, for 2023 bucket here, or bin. And the first one, it's for Darth Vader, black packaging. I have a few things in here and the first things that I'm seeing are mascaras but I have a lot of mascaras in projects already so I'm gonna see if there's anything else I have oh this eyelash and brow conditioner by Grande Cosmetics let's see what else do I have so black packaging is the prompt I have a black lid. It's a clear packaging though. This is a Maybelline tattoo uh, front runner eyeshadow. And maybe that's the name front runner. I'm not sure, um, but this is what it looks like. And that's black. So maybe that, and uh, let's see what else do I have in here? Looks like, oh, I have an eyeliner. And I do have one other eyeliner in a project right now. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, so I have this Fergie primer. I think I'm going to put the primer in. And I'm just going to use it. Hmm. There's only five prompts. And this goes from January to May. So that's like five months. Uh, maybe I'll put this just the whole five months and see how much I get use out of it. So let's do that. So it's about right here. This is a very old primer by Wet n Wild. Uh, Fergie's line came out years ago and I found this at the Dollar Tree uh, when they discontinued the line. Let's see if it's even good anymore. Uh, nothing's coming out. So maybe it's bad. Oh, there it came out. And it's a shimmery kind of primer. And I don't have any primers in projects right now. I've just been using concealer so on my eyelids. So it's still creamy. Yeah, I guess I could use it. It's still good. So I'll use this primer for the Darth Vader prompt. Something in black packaging. I also had like this e.l.f. cameo that has black um, foundation but I am working on a cushion foundation right now. So I think I'll just put in this eye primer. The next prompt is for Obi-Wan Kenobi. It says a product you can always rely on. Okay, so a product I can always rely on would be, maybe I am gonna put a foundation in. I'm looking through this stuff and I'm like, hmm. Ooh, I love this one. This is a gloss by Buxom. It's like a plumping uh, full-on lip cream. Plumping lip polish. And it's not a lip cream, but it's just a full-on. So, and it has shimmer. That is so pretty. I think I'm going to use that. Let me give you guys a swatch of it just to see what it looks like. It's like a pretty gloss. I could top my lipsticks with that so i'm gonna put this in i have this is one of two i have left in my collection and then for the next item is for or the next prompt is for yoda it says the oldest product in your collection oh that could have been like this one here 
But let me go through it and see if there's anything older in here that I have. Or what's the oldest in here? Uh, this is the ColourPop eyeliner that all the stuff rubbed off. Hmm. Ooh, here's a good one. Okay, another lippy. So I have this Color Whisper. They don't make these anymore by Maybelline. I bought it when everybody was panning these. I was like, I want one. And I bought it like on eBay or um, I think I bought it on eBay. And it was brand new when I bought it. And this is how much I have left. I'd like to use that up this year. So I'm going to put this in. This one is in Plum Prospect. And then the next prompt is for Han Solo. It says a solo product. Oh, so that's a product you only have one of. So I don't know. I have a lot of, I think I have a lot of product. Okay, here's one. This is going to be a foundation, you guys. I only have one of these Purito. Um, this is a Sika Clearing BB Cream in number 27 Sound Beige. I got this on Amazon. I don't have anything else in my collection by Purito, so I'm going to throw this in. And the last, the fifth item, it says Chewbacca, so a hair product. Now, I don't have any hair products in this container, so I'm going to have to pause for a second and go grab something. Okay, so for my fifth product, I'm going to go for Hot Toddy, which is a heat protectant mist. It's by Dry Bar. And I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago. It says that you it protects up to 450 heat. My strainer only goes up to 410. So I think this would be good to use since it's cold right now and I've been straightening my hair a lot because it's cold and I don't want to wear my hair wet. Usually when I wash my hair, I air dry it. I never use a blow dryer and I have one, I just don't use it. But yeah, I think this would be perfect for the winter right now because I've been straightening my hair a lot since it's been so cold. So usually like I'll wash my hair, then I'll wear it up that day and then I let it air dry in the afternoon after work. And then the next day I'll straighten my hair and I'll wear my hair like straight for two or like maybe one or two days before I wash my hair again, usually two days. So usually that first day when I first, um, straighten my hair I'll put a heat protectant in my hair right now I've been using a salon selectives one from the Dollar Tree but um because I felt like this one was kind of like a dry shampoo where you still feel like texture or product in your hair and I, I don't like that feeling so I'm gonna put it in to use it up because it's something that I wouldn't purchase or want again because I didn't like the way it felt um and because it's the time of year for me to use heat protectants but anyway that is it for my update you guys or my intro <laughs> um so go follow you can follow the hashtag star wars panning saga and you can find other people here on youtube or on instagram that are doing this project and yeah i'll see you guys next month with the first update if you like this video please consider subscribing and i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye